Imagine taking a radio like this and turning it into a quasi social media tool. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK here. And I've got this crazy idea on how to use APRS and APRS messages to create a quasi social media tool. Now just imagine being able to be in a spot like this and assuming you have a connection to a Digipeter, you could actually create posts that anybody in the world could follow along with. Now I've kind of covered something like this in the past where we used APRS messages uh, to play around on a winter field day once upon a time and be able to make or at least arrange long distance contacts. And I've also covered how to use APRS to send group messages out. So what I want to do is kind of combine the two of those while we're in Huntsville for the Huntsville Ham Fest. Here's my idea. I want to use the group H-U-N-H-F as a way to post updates about what's going on and what I'm going to be doing, where I'm going to be hanging out at during the week that we're in Huntsville. Well, almost a week. It's about five days that I'll actually be there. If you just put that group in your radio and you were within RF range of us while we're in Huntsville, you would receive those alerts right on your APRS radio. Now, don't think you got to have a high dollar radio to do this. You could use a radio that doesn't even have APRS on it. Use something like a MobiLink TNC and an application like APRS.fi on the iPhone or APRS Droid on the Android platform. But assuming you were within range, you would be able to hear those packets coming out over RF and it would be delivered right to your device, whichever device you choose to take. If you're not in range, you could always go over to APRS.fi and be able to look up the data right there. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that in this screenshot that I'm going to overlay. Now this won't just work for me, it will work for anybody actually anywhere in the world. They'll be able to both post to the group and they'll be able to read the group replies. So I just thought it would kind of be a fun way to utilize APRS and APRS messages while we're in Huntsville. The really neat part about it is if I've got an HT with me and I'm within range of one of those Digipeters in the Huntsville area, I'll be able to do this strictly over RF. Now, I suspect that that situation is going to change a bit when we get to the Von Braun Civic Center. Huntsville Ham Fest is a completely indoor event, and I doubt seriously I'll be able to use an HT to get into the Digipeter from inside the building. In that case, I'll be able to use an app on my phone, just connect through the internet, and still be able to publish those updates. And not only will I be able to publish those updates, but anyone else could post a reply or an update of their own by just sending that message to H-U-N-H-F. Now, doing this at a ham fest is not the only time that we might utilize this type of communication. Maybe you're out on a hike like I am today. Assuming, once again, that you've got an APRS radio with you or uh, APRS-capable device of some sorts, and you can get into that Digipeter over RF, then you could post updates that maybe your wife could look up or maybe another friend or family member. It would be really cool because they don't even need to be a ham radio operator in order to go over to APRS.fi and check for any updates that you've posted. Now, if you need to know how to set up group messages in your particular radio or in your particular setup, uh, you may have to look up the manual, but it's usually just a groups function in the menu. I can't remember if I, re, uh, if I covered that in the video where I was talking about group messages before, but if I didn't, check your manual and you'll be able to figure out how to add a new group to your radio. All you need to do is add that H-U-N, HF and you would receive all of those messages assuming again that you're within RF range of Huntsville, Alabama. Now I'll start posting updates sometime on Wednesday when I pull out of uh, my home headed down to the Huntsville Ham Fest. I'll get there Wednesday afternoon and we'll be staying in the area until Monday 
and I'll be utilizing that group chat to be able to post several things while I'm in the Huntsville area. There's going to be several different uh, places that I know me and probably several of the other YouTubers are going to end up uh, hanging out over the course of that weekend, that really long weekend. But I'll be able to post those updates right out there using that HUNHF so you guys can keep up with exactly where everything is happening and going on at and where we might be hanging out at any given moment. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one today. Uh, it's a little bit less formal than what I normally do, but I will leave some links down in the description below so you can find some of those prior videos that I've done kind of covering this topic. Let's see what happens, and uh, let me know if you'll be attending Huntsville. You can put it down in the comment section. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.